of the last few lessons will mostly be focusing on finance. Which is why I'll be handling them. You can get started by looking at the overall finances of the park in the finance section of park management. Come on, money's a-wasting. Ah, this is my happy place. Just look at all those fiscals. You can get a very solid idea of how your park's finances are doing here. And looking at it, your rides are doing well. But I think your shops could be doing better. Open up the Attractions and Shops panel. As you can see, this section gives you an overview of how your shops and facilities are doing. Ah, and as I thought, you could definitely stand to raise your food and drinks prices by a half dollar or so. Happy guests don't mind paying a little extra. You can also raise the prices of ATMs, toilets, even the first aid facilities, but it's a good idea not to get too greedy with those. Just greedy enough. Yes, that's better. It's hardly a lottery win, but we are seeing a bit more profit, which means... That I get to interrupt you for once. We should put some of that money into researching a roller coaster. After all, guests eventually tire of old rides. So, putting money into ride research is essential if you want to keep a park fresh or expand it. Oh, my! Oh, yes! You should begin research at once. Now that the research is in hand, we should take a look at the staff again, because their happiness is just as important as the guests' happiness. Go on, take a look at your staff list. Good! See, if a staff member is unhappy, then they won't be as effective at their job. And if they're really unhappy, they might even quit entirely. Anyway, I think it's high time we gave some of our staff a raise, don't you? No. That wasn't directed at you, Cynthia. So, 
Check if any of your staff members aren't as happy as they could be. And, if so, bump their wages up a notch or two. There, that's a start. Now, if a staff member's workload is too high, it means that they aren't able to keep on top of all their duties, which will make them unhappy. One way around that is hiring more staff. But a more efficient way to deal with it is through staff training. So, train up some of your staff. Once you've chosen who to train, they'll soon toddle off to the staff building to receive their training and complimentary donuts. Oh yes, you clearly know how to care for your staff. Now that you've addressed their wages, workloads and training, they'll be showering you with world's best boss mugs in no time. And that means you're ready to learn about Building roller coasters! Oh my, oh my! They're expensive things, but a theme park isn't a theme park without one. Eugene, take it away! Take what away? Oh, I understand. If you could reveal the newly researched coaster blueprint, please. Well, that was needlessly over the top. Oh, but that is quite an exciting new coaster. That could easily hit 4.28 on the Eugene Thrill Rating Scale. And now that you have a new coaster type, you can place coaster blueprints for it. Or even build a coaster from scratch. But you should probably walk before you run. Now, open the coaster browser and select the blueprint. and place it in a suitable location. Oh, look at that! Your first coaster! You must feel so proud. Oh, M, gosh, out of my way. I'm going to ride that thing. Sorry, not just yet, Lucy. For while the construction of the coaster is finished, we are not. First, the coaster has to be tested to make sure it is safe. If you could do that, please. You know, if it's just about signing a safety waiver, then I'm actually cool with that.
well now. Looking at the telemetry data, the fear and nausea ratings are well within tolerable levels for guests, which means this ride is perfectly safe. Of course, that was to be expected with a prefabricated blueprint ride. When you build coasters from scratch, things can go... differently. OK, when you've connected it up to the rest of the park, you can open the coaster. Eugene! Again, apologies. Open the coaster! better. And what a fine coaster! But you're not done yet. You should adorn the track with plenty of wonderful scenery. Give the guests something exciting and unique to see as they whiz around those twists and turns. Oh, and of course, scenery will also improve the ride's prestige. You could use animatronics. They're extremely effective, although they will incur running costs. And, of course, there's all those wonderful scenery blueprints that Eugene made for you. Indeed. I really cannot overstate how long it took me to make those for you.
Will you look at that? Are you sure you haven't done this before? We should immortalize your coaster by saving it as a blueprint. Okay, okay. So, you'll need to multi-select everything you want to include in your blueprint. Go on. create a blueprint and you'll be able to make as many copies of your coaster as you like, or at least can afford. Oh, don't forget to give your blueprint a good name and an exciting screenshot and make sure to add any tags you want to it so you can find it easily later. Now you've made a blueprint, you'll find it in the Coasters browser. But there's also somewhere even more exciting. The workshop. You see, blueprints are a lot like sandwiches. You can share them with other people, and they contain pickles. No, that's not it. But just imagine it. Sharing your blueprints with the world. With the world sharing what they've built right back. That's what the workshop can do for you. Whew! Well, <laughs> that was a lot of work, wasn't it? I think it's time you enjoyed the fruit of your labours by riding your coaster, don't you? Go on, select it, and get on!
coaster whenever you like. You know, just in case you're feeling a little bit wobbly in the tum-tum. Congratulations! Uh, oh, I'd slap you on the back, but you look a wee bit queasy. Even so, I think you're ready to start your no doubt illustrious career in park management. What wonderful news because it means you can start paying back the time and effort that Oswald's invested in you. And if you would let me, I would dearly love to teach you the intricacies of building a coaster from the ground up. Oh, or ground down if it's subterranean. And I'm gonna tag along because my season pass gives me free entry anyway. Oh, and to watch you uh, grow as a manager, obviously. Not that you haven't grown already. Just look at this park. At your park, full of happy guests, making precious but reasonably priced memories. You should be proud of yourself. But this is just the start. Are you ready for the next step? <laughs> 